and welcome back to part two of this lovely video and we're now going to put the side light bulb back into the car hallelujah the job is done bloody nightmare so i've now got to put the air intake back on make sure it's Put the plastic retaining pegs back in here, like so. There we go, so that's that back in. Put the shitty screws back in, sorry, excuse my French. Put the crusty screws back in. Once you find the blooming socket. Oh. You know, this is a job I wish I never started, but I now know how to do it. And I know how to do the job. And yet again, it was the bolts. Ah! <sighs> yeah, I know I'm just treating it like a screwdriver. What's the motivation now? <laughs> there you go. Job's a good one. So, I'm just going to reverse the car back a wee bit and we'll see if I can get it. Um, show you what new lights look like. Now they do actually look much better, that's the passenger side, it does look a lot brighter. Overall I'm not, I'm not happy about the side light, the side light just looks a bit the same. So, let's check the driver's side. So, that's the driver's side now. Yeah, there is a massive improvement over the standard bolts. Um, I'm happy with it. I'll come back in the shop. So, if you want to spend a couple hours in the afternoon um, trying to change your bulbs on your car, then this is a worthwhile upgrade to do. Um, just remember, the easiest solution on, on this cash guy, on the 1.6, I, I don't know about the others, is to remove the air intake system and gain access to the bulb that way. Don't follow what Nissan say in the owner's handbook saying that you can uh, uh, remove it without taking out the headlight because it is nigh on impossible because you've got 
One, the battery. Two, the fuse box. You've got the air intake system is number three. And number four, you've got a metal bar, which is basically chewed at my hand and my arm. And there was times I was thinking, this is, I'm going to get my hand stuck in here. So, there we go. So, I'd just like to thank you for watching part two of this video. Um, and we don't forget to like and subscribe to the Facebook page at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and our Instagram page. And I shall catch you in a future video. But for a moment, farewell. I'm now away for a cup of tea.